Hello, hi everyone, and indeed, welcome back to a new Destiny 2 video. I am a massive idiot, and I'm going to give you a little bit of context as to what I'm going to be doing today. Well, you see the title already, but I'm explaining it anyway, it's YouTube. Master Rahul is of course renowned for decrypting your pretty prime engrams, but also you are able to buy legendary engrams from him for a pretty chunky price of 35 legendary shards. A fairly high price for a simple world engram. And you know, I have dabbled with these engrams before in the past, spending I think a total of over 8,000 shards trying to get a legendary grenade launcher, which I haven't used more than five times. <laughs> Nice. There he is, the boy himself, Interference. But cut to now, a year later, I have achieved enough shards to be stupid again. Now, if you aren't aware already, these engrams are essentially world engrams. So there are quite a lot of weapons that can drop from here, but that also means you are highly likely to receive armor that's terribly rolled. So the chances of this being a massive waste, oh boy, it's high. That's why I'm here today, to test potentially utterly wasteful and pointless things just like this. You're welcome. So let's spend 5,000 legendary shards and see how many god rolls we can get our hands on. I'm 100% going to be deleting some of these as I get them because I think the total amount to spend 5,000 is around 140 legendary engrams. So I'm not going to be keeping all of them. I've got slots ready as you can see. My fancy shotgun with wee wind wounds. <laughs> hey, let's see. It's very likely I'm going to be doing a lot of speed up here because it's going to be a lot of that. Just gauntlets. So let's roll on and see if I mean, there's a lot of things I'm still after. There's the new monarchy, not new monarchy, future Walker SMG that can drop a phase mag. I need that. I need that in my life. I need a first in last out shotgun with auto loading Vorpal. There's a lot I need. Karak type two, crap type two. I do not need this. So I'm basically going to stop at about 23,000 shards because I know I'm going to delete a lot. So I'm going to get some shards back from deleting a lot of these. So I'll stop at around 23,000. That's fair. Stop giving me correct type 2, ah! I think it's worth saying as well, I've gotten a little bit better at spotting what is a decent roll or not. Doesn't mean I'm gonna catch every single one, so if I do miss one, feel free to correct me in the comment section when I'm done filling my inventory here. Oh, there we go, we've got the SMG. Okay, right away, I need to check this. Our slots are almost full anyway, we might as well start checking. Right, so this is the SMG I'm after. That is not a role I want to see. Stochastic variable? Stochastic? St I don't know. The idea is you can get phase mag in one of these sections here in the magazine, but yeah. It, clearly, I do not have that. I don't know all the stats behind it, but basically you can have, instead of a 900 RPM SMG, it turns into 600 RPM, but you can have a 600 RPM with the intrinsic traits of a lightweight frame. So what I would want is Ambitious Assassin, Multi-Kill Clip, and Phase Magazine. Not really sure about here, maybe Hammer Forged, default, just easy to go to. But this, no, th this is not it. Got a cold denial with Multi-Kill Clip Zen moment. It's, it, it's not too bad. I'm pretty sure I've already got the best rolls possible for this thing. Brilliant in Crucible, though. We have Multi-Kill Clip Feeding Frenzy on one, but unfortunately we only have alloy or flared. I'd prefer a magazine size here. I don't know, I've not used a cold denial in so long, so it's hard to assess these because I honestly haven't used this for a good year. Whispering Slab, now, now I'm sorry. Any fans out there of Whispering Slab, I'm not having it. I do wish 450 RPM auto rifles weren't terrible. I mean, looking at all of these, Quill Draw Unrelenting, <laughs> Tap Trigger Multi Kill not too bad. Field Prep Kill Clip, I do like Field Prep. Broader got Rampage though, I don't really need that. Subsistence, Demolitionist, and Nature of the Beast. Don't really like Nature of the Beast. Last Dance with Moving Target and Zen Moment. What about the power weapons here? Quill Draw Unrelenting on a Grenade Launcher. No thank you. Tarantula, Feeding Frenzy Dragonfly. Another no. Temptation Sook. Run at the Strike on Guard. I am horrified at judging sword perks because I know there are people that just back everything up here. Isn't Temptation Sook one of the least used swords? I have to say so far that there's not a god roll here and we've already spent a thousand legendary shots. <laughs> Wait, let's check the armor. Maybe there's some decent rolls. 57. Okay, that's not too bad. Resilience and discipline. It's not the worst. We have 52, 53, 51, 50, 57, 53, 54, 51, 55. 48, 50, 50 uh, you get the gist of what's, ha what's happening here. <laughs> it's just, just pure shards. You know, I'll keep this one though. You know what? We, we've got something out of there. Would you want a discipline resilience roll on a titan for a helmet? I mean, you say that. Look at my current discipline. It's 20. Oh, thank you, controller. Yes, I appreciate it. I'm trying to think of any questions you guys might have about this. I mean, is it worth it? I mean, so far, no. 
You might as well just play the game and farm umbrals. You'll probably get better luck from that. Infinitely better luck from that. I mean, am I surprised? No, I'm not really that much surprised. I would like at least one decent... Come on, the statistic variable? Give me, please. <coughs> oh, for goodness sake. Come on, let's go. We're gonna get some. Another cold denial. We're getting it right back again. You guys know what I'm after already. So it's gonna be... I can't believe... I can't remember the name of the sword. Hold on one minute. Crown Splitter, that's the one. I'm after also the Crown Splitter, and I know for a fact it can drop from these engrams. Again, is it worth it going through all this armor to get there? No, it's really not. <laughs> Crown Splitter, there we go. See, look. It can drop from there. Is it worth the shards? No. To everyone who's watching at this point, I love your faces so much. You're sitting through me just opening engrams here. <laughs> hey, if you want to see more of this, let me know. If, if this is entertaining for you guys, if this is boring, hey, let me know. Come on. Memory interdict. Memory inter interdict? Inter How do you say that? I lack English, and I shouldn't lack English. Okay, look at all these shiny- look at this! Oh, Pulse Monitor, Eye of the Storm, Cold and Owl. No. False Promises, Dynamic Sway, Eye of the Storm. No. Killing Wind Swash. Full Auto Outlaw. No. <laughs> Killing Wind Swash. Full prep, auto learning holster, sympathetic arsenal, and firmly planted. Threat detector, triple tap. I, the longest time I've wanted triple tap and rapid it on this thing. It's never gonna happen. If one of you has that role, I'm very jealous. Palladies corrector, we have our oh, elemental capacitor. See, you can get four times the charm. It can be decent. Truth teller, blinding grenades, underdog. I know that blinding grenade is good. I just don't know what to. If I get it, I don't know what these should be with it. I have one with field prep. I don't know about the rest because obviously it's not high damage. So you don't want a damage perk, surely? Maybe? Someone tell me to shut up. So chastic variable with unrelenting ambitious assassin. Not even phase mag. Division with ambitious assassin and sympathetic arsenal. It's pretty self-explanatory there. I kill SMG with grave robber surrounded. Not the worst, definitely not. Field prep elemental capacity. Is this the perk of the day or something? It may be chonky, but it's got plenty of handling. Heavy weapons, okay, we did get a crown splitter. What do we have? Whirlwind blade, that's what you want. Flash counter? Maybe not. This is my current one, you see. So I've got Whirlwind Blade and Relentless Strikes. Not sure about the rest of this stuff. But hey. Fallen Gear Team with Surrounded and Relentless Strikes. No Swordman's Guard, though. Beringer's Memory, Clown Cartridge Autoloading, Temptation's Hook, Energy Transfer, Flash Counter. That sounds like the worst combo. Ooh, Clown Cartridge Chain? That sounds pretty fun. High velocity or sticky grenades. Hard launch. We got hard launch as well. Hey, it's it's not the worst. Velocity masterwork as well. Oh, that sounds like a fun roll. Don't know about the magazines here, but I'll keep it for now. It's definitely not a god roll. <laughs> uh, again, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's not great, is it? <laughs> oh, sorry, I forgot about the armor. Here we go. 52, 52, 55, or oh, much better. 57. Wow, that's a record. 51, 54, 48. It's literally me telling you guys numbers at this point. 52, 54, 51, 49, 51, 49, 54, 48, 52, 55, 52, 52, 50. These are all terrible. I'm not gonna bother you guys' ears anymore with numbers, don't worry. Okay, five minutes later of deleting stuff, we have about 2,000 legendary shards left of spending until we get to around the 5,000 mark. I can't believe we spent like three grand already. <laughs> I, I, I can't even. Hope you guys are enjoying the, how you say, S tier content. Look at that. Karak Type 2? Yeah, you can't get there anywhere else. I need the SMG. If there's one thing I want to walk away from this today is a decent rolled SMG. That's stochastic variable. I might have been saying it this wrong this whole time. I don't care. I need that. Look at my legendary shards dwindle away. I'm losing my sanity. You know, I've decided I'm not going to stop until I get an SMG. Once this stochastic variable comes up one more time, then I'll stop. Another crown splitter. I'll always welcome those. Oh shit. Alright, 
Uh, oh, geez, there's so much going on here. Okay, 54. We don't need that. 55. We don't need that. Hold on the Charmed Wellspring. Eh. I don't know. I've never used that thing. I'll keep it there for now. Ooh. Blinding Grenades, Fill Prep, Quick Draw? Question mark? Is that something? Someone give me positives out of this, please. <laughs> oh, no. It's not looking good. It's, it's not looking good. <laughs> Feeding Frenzy backup plan. Under pressure, snapshot, overflow, kill clip. Dragonfly, Archer's Tempo. Grave Robber Demolitionist. I mean, fourth time to charm, and this SMG, it's not too bad. Oh, it's not even got the extended mag on it. Never mind, it's not great. Okay, so this crown splitter here is good, but everything else here is not really great. <laughs> okay, so we've heavy, I think it always comes with heavy guard. We've got Whirlwind Blade, Jagged Edge, and Tarnus Blade with the world. Like, that. this is good, but the rest of this... <laughs> No, not great. You know, I'm hoping I do delete something good because so far I don't think anything interesting's really came out of this. You might have noticed that it sounds like quitter talk. I assure you it's not. We're not giving up here. I've run out of music to play. It's just me now. You're stuck with me. We have gone so past the 5,000 limit I set. <laughs> We're just going for it. Two hours later. We're 7,000 shards in. We're stopping. We're stopping for now. Let's see what we got. I did see a few first in last. Doubt. It's not. It is! Appended mag... Oh. Appended magazine, Vorpal, auto-loading. If you guys know DPS, you know this shotgun. I have never gotten one, ever. <laughs> ever. I've gone for it during the time where you can farm umbrals. Never dropped for me. Now it has. It figures they're probably going to be nerfing that double swap thing soon. It doesn't matter. I'll, I'll still take a god roll when one comes along. I'm really trying to look at these. Like, threat detector, multi kill clips, not that bad. Snapshot, moving target, PvP one? It's, it's not a god roll, though. That's the thing. Okay, I'm going to stop buying engrams now. I think I've got 7,000 legendary shards down the drain. So I'm just going to get every weapon, every half-decent roll we've got today. Let's see what we've got overall. And if you guys want to see more, again, let me know. Because I don't know how fun it is to watch me open engrams and groan at rolls and just <laughs> watch my legendary shards deplete. Okay, after assessing everything, we have a crown splitter with Tireless Blade and Whirlwind. And we've also got this fun grenade launcher with Chain Reaction Clown Cartridge. And in the Postmaster, we have a Pallades Corrector with the fourth times and the Wellspring. A truth teller with blinding grenades, fill prep, and quick draw. I'm losing my English today. And lastly, another crown splitter with relentless and whirlwind. And then, quite easily, the best thing we've received today is the first in, last out. Because this is something that I needed, and I've got it now. Look at this. Vorpal, auto-loading holster with the appended mag and everything. Slap boss spec on that. Oh, is that worth 7,000 legendary shards? So really, the question here is, are these engrams worth buying? And the answer to that is no. Hell no. Avoid these engrams at all costs. Thanks for watching. Thank you for sticking around with me while I waste 7,000 legendary shards. If you've ever bought these engrams, let me know how your experiences have been. And if you haven't, good for you. You're smart. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, take care.